Hello everybody, my name is Siobhan Sweet and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I'm quite excited about this recipe actually. So I got in the kitchen yesterday and started to experiment and I've made, invented a lovely waffle cone recipe. So I thought absolutely perfect. Can you see them? I'll bring them up to the camera because they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So really easy to make and I'm going to show you. Anyone can make them. You don't need a machine. So I'm going to show you how to make this. But I've got this really old toasty machine and I thought I might use this because it's a bit closer to now you can make these in a pan okay just use a normal non-stick pan but just because I'm a bit closer I'm going to do them on here so it's quite nice and hot and I've just got a little bit of spray so I'm just going to give that a spray just to let that settle down and I always use a bit of kitchen roll and just wipe it like that so it's got a nicely lightly oils Okay, so we're going to make the filling. Really simple, 50 grams of sugar, okay, 22 grams of milk in there, and then we've got the egg whites. I'm going to keep the egg yolk probably for later on because I might make a, a nice carbonara or something and throw a couple of egg yolks in. I've got one from yesterday from there. So I tend, when I tend to crack an egg, I crack it into my hand. I just find it easier because you can shimmer it round. You'll see lots of people and um, taking it from one side of the shell to the other side and you've got a very easy way of cracking that yolk and you want to keep that yolk out of there. A little bit of vanilla extract. So remember me telling you about vanilla extract and the differences we've been on before? Vanilla extract is far better. I'd like to use a vanilla pod but we haven't got one of those. Hello Daniela, Phoebe and Kelly. Oh, three of my very old students. How are we all? Um, so I've got some vanilla extract here. Just put a little couple of drops in there. It's quite a strong one, that one. It's a good quality one. That's it. Honestly, it's so simple. Just whisk those together. So you don't need a machine. You don't need anything. And then in there, I'm going to just put a pinch of salt. Jenny, hi, Jenny. <laughs> Daniela looking good. Oh, thank you. Daniela's a pastry chef. In fact, We've got two pastry chefs on, I can see popping up. What are we making? Daniela, we are making these fabulous cones. You see those there. I was going to show them how to make an ice cream, and I thought, well, nothing to put ice cream into. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to invent a waffle cone. So that's what we did yesterday. Okay, so in here, I've got 42 grams of flour. Okay, and then we're going to blend that round. Bit of lumps. Always sieve everything. Always sieve. And then we're just going to finish off the 14 grams of melted butter. Now this is a small recipe because obviously I'm going to be eating these um, and this will make four cones. And they're really crispy even now. From yesterday, I wrap them in cling film and they're ready to use today. So put your butter in there and that's all it. And that is it. That's it. Done. Now I found yesterday, because I'm a bit of a technical person and want to know the ins and outs, that this one here, let me show you, has got like little spot white spots on it. And this one here is nice and smooth. And that was my last one I cooked. So that's telling me I need to leave the, the mix to rest for probably 15 minutes just for the bubbles to settle. I mean, it's not the end of the world if it's got a few spots on it really. It's all gonna go down the same way. But if you want a nice finish, now obviously we haven't got the crisscross here, but ours are flat. Uh, you're the best. <laughs> Keep saying thank you, Kenny. And you love it. I always say when Kenny pops up, he's my very first student with Kenny when I got to college many years ago. I can't tell you how many years ago. Yeah, we've got anything else on there. Right, so then all we're gonna do is take a spoon. And we're gonna put a spoonful of this mix in here. Again, don't need anything flash, anything fancy, and just spin it around. I probably put a spoonful and a half in there. It depends how big you want to make them. Hopefully you can see that there. I'll come to the camera and see that you can see. And just spread that out. And that's it. That's it done. I'm going to leave that for about four minutes. So if you're doing it in the frying pan, it's just a nice, gentle heat. You don't want to blast it. You just want to find it so good. Now you can use these as baskets, so once it's there, you can fold it over something like 
um, a tin or a back of a cup or something so you can have a basket to put the ice cream in. But I thought the cones looked great, so that's what I'm doing now. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that as that's going. So where that's cooking, I'm going to show you an ice cream. Now, ice cream to me, I was going to show you the proper way. Um, but we're on lockdown and I know we've got lots of kids watching, enjoying it, and we've got nice easy ways to make ice cream. So I'm going to show you an easy way to make ice cream. I've never done it like this before. It goes against the grain as a pastry chef, but it's about simplicity for you. So we're going to show you a little recipe I did yesterday. Again, keeping it small. Now, I'm going to use my mixer here, I like my KitchenAid, because I've just whipped some cream up, so it may be a little bit noisy just for a minute. So I've whipped some cream up, so it's just a soft peak, and I'm going to put that on the machine. So how much cream have I got in here? I've got 225 grams of cream in there. I'm just going to clip that onto the machine now. Um, so remember, this is not a proper sauce on glazed ice cream, as us pastry chefs would do. This is a bit of a cheat recipe. And you know me, I don't like to cheat, but you'll go with it. So in here, I've got 200 grams of condensed milk. It's not cooked, it's just raw. I'm just going to whisk that into the, into the cream mix, that's it. So just give me a sec, I'll put the mixer on. That's it, that's your ice cream made. <laughs> I know, I couldn't believe it yesterday either. So from there, I'm going to the camera so you can see. I also over whisk it, but it's it's a quite a thickish consistency. If you keep whisking, eventually you're going to split your cream. So just be careful to bring that together, and then you're going to add your flavours. Now you can do any flavour you want. Let me just check this waffle. Not quite there yet. Starting to get. That's fine. So you can do any flavour you want. Now yesterday I made Malteser. So how I did that? What I did? I just got some. Horlicks, I put three big heap spoonfuls of Horlicks. I actually diluted it with my, carne, uh, with my condensed milk first and then poured it in so I didn't get powder. So that's how I did that one. You could do, honestly, there's so much you could do peanut butter, you could put Nutella in there. Um, I thought fresh fruit, fresh berries, vanilla extract, salted caramel, you could fold through it, uh, ganache, chocolate ganache. Snickers, Mars bars, you name it. So what you could do is make a base mix like this and you could divide it into pots. Now this is only a small amount, you could double this quite easy and have different pots for the different children and whatever and they could choose their own fillings. I've got some toppings there for the cones but as I say, you can do anything. So today I'm going to fold in some Oreos. So quite, I'm quite partial to Oreos. I've just chopped those into quarters Put those in there. I don't know if that's enough. Yes, I might need a bit more. Let's see. And fold those through. And then we're going to put this in a freezer for about five hours. Okay. Now I noticed this this morning. For me, as an ice cream lover, and I, and I make ice cream all the time. And um, it was a bit firm. So before serving, I suggest you take it out the fridge for about fifteen minutes just for it to come to down to temperature a little bit so you can scoop it nicely. I'm just going to throw a bit more in here because, you know, if you're going to go for it, you may as well just put the whole packet in, won't you? So that's a whole packet of Oreos in there now. I can see my daughter's popped on. Hello, Caitlin. She'll be very jealous. She's working in the NHS, so I can't see her. And when she saw I was making these, I knew she'd absolutely die for these. So I think you're going to have to make your own at home, Caitlin. So fold that through and that is ready to go. So I'm going to put that into my bowl over here. And that is your lovely Oreo ice cream. How lovely does that look? And how simple was that? It was like minutes. Hi Denise, are we all right? Oh, Kate was saying yes, she wishes she was at home. <laughs> right, so I'll put that in the freezer and that'll be ready. Now I have got one I prepared earlier, but let's just see how this waffle is doing. I reckon this is nearly ready now. Yeah, it is. So just take that off and turn it over, back over there. 
that's going to take another minute. So it's probably about five minutes on one side, a minute on the other. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come to roll these. I roll these by hand, so not ideal for kids to do because they are a little bit hot. But I wouldn't do it on my work surface because my work surface is very cold. I will do it on the wooden board because these are set within about, oh, a minute, not even a minute, 30 seconds. So you need to be quite quick with it. Oh, Rolo's here. Hello, Rolo. You've been in the garden today. Okay, 30 seconds and we're there. Any questions will be all right. So anybody can do this recipe. Honestly, it's so simple and it's fabulous. I can see some hearts on Facebook. Thank you very much. Uh, as I say, this recipe will make four cones, so you can easily double it if you've got a big family or you want one today, one tomorrow. Just put them in an airtight tin and I reckon that would last for two or three days and the mix will last for about four days in the fridge. So you can just cut them to order when you want them. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Right, so I like the look of that side because it's nice and brown. I'm just going to spin that over and then we're going to roll it up. So I'm not sure you can see, but to keep it tight at the bottom and just roll it like a cone. And that is it. Okay, now I've rolled that on, the, on there. You might want to roll this on here, you know, somewhere a bit colder, but that is your cone. And it sets within seconds. Let me bring that to the, to the camera for you there. Okay. Oh, they look good, don't they? I'm, I'm quite impressed with those myself. I'm very glad. And they are really easy because you just roll it and it's done. So I'm just going to put that on the cold surface and let that set. As I say, you could make a basket, you don't have to do a cone. And I'm going to finish this off now. I'm going to make Caitlin very jealous now. Sorry, Caitlin, because, you know, I'm going to have to eat this myself, aren't I? And I'm just going to literally, let's see if I can get a nice, yeah, Malteser one. And I'm going to put that into that cone there, why not? Okay, so that is your ice cream cone totally completed with Maltesers. Yeah, do you like the look of that? I like the look of that. So obviously that's going to melt. So I mean, who else is going to eat it? I can't give it to the dog, so I'm going to have to eat it myself. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and I will see you on Friday. I'm thinking of doing a nice lemon tart because the weather's lovely. So I've got some lemons in the fridge, so I might do that. Anyway, thanks for joining me. See you soon.